Good evening, folks. I want to quickly go over a bit about the recent Mars story and why it makes sense to put it in the solar system shift context. A quick review of the solar system changes so far. Pluto has had an atmospheric collapse. Neptune saw a megastorm reversal, like a hurricane going from Florida to Africa. Uranus has had record storms and aurora. Saturn's cyclical superstorm arrived 10 years early. Jupiter has had serious cloud changes, heat waves, and a change in its radio frequency caused by a change in its magnetic fields. Venus has a phenomenal wind speed increase. The sun's coronal fields and chemistry are shifting, and we see more neutrals, charged particles, and dust in the interplanetary space between the planets. Then, of course, there's Earth with major shifts in climate, record rotation rate, and the well-described geomagnetic field changes in magnetic pole shift. Back to the Mars storm. They noticed this dust storm on Mars. It's totally unexpected given the time of year and latitude. And what's more, it appears to be stationary. The clear bow-shaped front is the giveaway that we should look to electromagnetism when it's not moving. Dust storms, whether on Earth or on Mars, take the denser front when being pushed by the wind. We never see such a form acting stationary, not traveling along. The stationary nature of the Mars dust storm doesn't make sense unless something is attracting and holding that dust in place, and we know electricity can do exactly that. In fact, we have seen several studies about electrical activity and dust lifting and dust storms here on Earth. It is the premise of the static duster like Grandma used to use, and it's why there is dust attracted to the galactic current sheet. We've seen those studies from Mars and beyond as well. Not only do we have those concepts playing out in the Mars dust storm, but it is unexpected in time and location. Well, for those who know the planetary magnetism should be changing and producing unexpected effects, the electromagnetic appearance of unexpected features is, well, expected. This adds to the Mars weather changes and the increasing seismicity and the new notion that its mantle is active rather than dormant, creating a larger picture of the Mars changes we see right now in the context of the great solar system electromagnetic shift as we take the galactic current sheet and galactic magnetic reversal. I'll see you in the morning. Be safe, everyone.